Good morning. Nice to see you all. Nice to see everybody coming into the room. Hello and good morning. My name is Lisa Renz. I'm the president of US Franchise. I want to thank you for being on this call today. We're we're coming to you live from Las Vegas. Is that better, Dr. Meisner? Yes, yeah. live, live <laughs> from Las Vegas. Absolutely. On the call with me today, of course, is um, my uh, Ron Leonard. He's also the president of US Corps. We want to thank, of course, Dr. Meisner for being on this call with us. We certainly appreciate you have, having um, us on this call as well. We want to thank also uh, Dana Coyle. She's uh, Dr. Meisner's assistant and Thesha Bope. She works with me on my team. So I appreciate you always assisting us on these calls as well. So we have, we want to talk, you know, we're, we're halfway through membership extravaganza. So we're very excited. We want to talk to you about some stuff. So the way you can um, understand how to qualify in that last final push. Uh, of course, we just want to remind you, these calls are on uh, Mondays at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. today, of course. We are at in Las Vegas for the U.S. and Canada conference, so today we're only doing the 11 a.m. call Eastern time, uh, but join us the following week. We'll certainly be on at 11 and 5, and we'll be doing this until May 20th, so it's a great opportunity to let your chapters know that we're doing these calls and have them on here as well. So we're pretty excited. We're going to be getting the April numbers very, very soon. Uh, but we're really excited to talk about like the results that we had in, in March, of course. We had over $2 billion in closed business as a result of 1.3 million referrals from uh, you guys. And of course, we had $23.3 billion in the last 12 months as a result of 15.5 million, million referrals. So it's pretty exciting to see the kind of growth that we're having and the kind of impact that we're having in our communities. So it's really amazing to see. What are your thoughts about this, Dr. Meiser? How are you feeling about those numbers? Oh, those numbers are amazing. Uh, you know, last year we ended with uh, over 23 billion. We're on track to maybe do over 24 billion this year. And it's, you know, it's hard to put that in perspective, but, uh, and I, I've mentioned this in a previous call or two, if you take the uh, United Nations estimates of GDP, gross domestic product for countries, there are actually a hundred countries, a hundred countries in the world with a lower gross domestic product for a year. And what BNI generated for its members in uh, 2023, that blows my mind. I never imagined that we would be generating more business for our members than countries in the world. And it makes me very proud. And the U.S., uh, you know, we have a lot of very successful countries, but the truth is they are all standing on the shoulders of giants. Uh, the, the, the American uh, members and directors and the Canadian members and directors who really uh, got this rolling and we'll be here at this conference. So I'm really proud of this number and, and I'm pleased with how the membership extravaganza is going so far. Yeah, it is really exciting to be at the conference. And, you know, some of the people who uh, came up with some of the really cool things that we do today that we think of as a tradition, they're here in Las Vegas. Yeah. And I think that's the great thing about going to you know, national conferences is you get to see the people who, you know, kind of yeah. invented some of the things that we do today. So Hey, here's, here's, here's a trivia question. It has nothing to do with member extravaganza, but um, have we ever had a U.S. Canadian conference before? I would say yes. Yeah, at least three times. Uh, oh, when wow. Canada first started, I think the first time was <clears throat> 1995 in Westchester County, New York, was the first cool. time we had two people from Canada uh, come to the U.S. conference. And then after that, for two or three years, we the conferences were merged. They were together. Um, and uh, so I don't think most people know that. And I'm going to share that in my founder's remarks this week. That's exciting. That's great. It, yeah, it, it, it is. A, it's really nice to have them here. So it, it is really amazing to have them here. And like you said, too, some of them are the legends. Some of the reasons why we do the things that we do is because they came before many of us and, and had some really great ideas that we incorporate into the organization today. All right, Ron, you want to keep going with this? Yes, ma'am. Um, looking back last year, had an amazing cruise with Dr. Meisner on Independence of the Seas. And uh, last year, I think we sent, what, 21, uh, 21 members and their plus ones for um, the U.S. And this year, we we looked to go big. And Lisa and I on our mission to break a record. I think the last record was, what, 120? Uh, was that 120? Did that include the plus ones or was that members? You know, I'd have to look back, but yeah. I think that might have been just members um i'd have to look back though okay yeah we we we, we expect we're, we're going to blow it out of the water this year and so yeah. we're uh we're about halfway through um april's almost over if you can believe it it's it's crazy and so 
May 31st to be before you know it. And um, this year, it's going to be in a bigger ship, better ship, more people, bigger parties. And uh, this is a, a this is a this is looking way back. <laughs> this is a many many years ago, two thousand and something. Um, tell us about this picture in the top left there, Ivan. Is, is are you there dancing? I the am most definitely not there. Uh, I don't do the macarena. That's uh, that's the macarena. But people have a lot of fun. There might be a little alcohol involved there. I don't know, but. <laughs> um, there are a number of BNI people that are in that line, yeah. Uh, and it reminds me—I don't know if we have Dawn on the on this call or not—but her husband did the hairy chest contest, and as I recall, he won or was runner-up, and he had a very hairy <laughs> chest. He really did. So yeah, they, they, we. If you like to do stuff like this, these cruises are a great place to come to. Yeah, they and are free makes fun. it even better. You can't be free, right? No, to get to spend, you know, <clears throat> four days, three nights with you and, and all the other winners. Uh, I know it's an amazing time. We've had many speakers from past winners, you know, come on the calls and share their experiences. And every single one of them were just, you know, it was life changing. A lot of them are still keep in touch with the previous winners and they're doing business together, passing referrals, building relationships. And so it's, uh, it's been super productive. And of course, you know, there's a lot of bottles of something on that table right there. I kind of like that yeah, table right there, Ivan. Yeah, we've been known to have a few uh, bottles of wine at, at dinner. Uh, and so, and we all sit together. There are, you know, like, depends on how many people there are. There are 10, 20 tables and we all um, uh, sit in the same area. And I ask that members rotate to be able to sit with me whenever possible. And, and you know, look, if you make the membership extravaganza, uh, no, I, I don't hide. I, I'm out and about, although I may not be doing the Macarena, I am out and about and meeting and talking to people every day. Yep, book signings. And yeah. I know you do a presentation with them and spend a lot of time with them eat, and eat meals with everybody. Pick, they'll get to pick the topic. We'll we'll give every all the winners two or three topics and let them pick. That makes me want to try to win. So okay, good. It, it, it should be a fantastic time. And um, let's let's talk, let's kind of shift gears a little bit and talk about how to qualify. I know, Lisa, you've got some great, great things to share. And, you know, we're halfway through. we got one month almost under our belt, one more month to go. And how do we go after, you know, that low-hanging fruit to bring in people to your chapters? Yeah. So I think over the years, everybody's called some, this something different. But I think I want to give credit to Shirley Town. She does something that's called a Unicorn Day. And we were just talking earlier. There actually is a National Unicorn Day in the United States on April 9th. Of course, you don't have to stick to that. But the concept of unicorns, though, I think is a really easy way to qualify or actually, quite frankly, to sponsor anybody. The idea is finding someone who's very unique and not represented in most chapters. Because they're not represented in a lot of chapters, they can join really any chapter. So if you know you can find the chapter that meets, meets their needs, whether it be the day, the time, uh, maybe they have a certain preference for you know how large the chapter they want to join or whatever. So there's a lot of opportunities for them. So I just want to kind of go over some ideas for uh, this is off of a flyer that Shirley Town recently put together for her region when they did a um, unicorn day, and she you know they were looking for like locksmiths, storage sheds, uh, architects, structural engineering, labor attorneys, collections. Uh, florists, dry cleaners, picture framing companies, boat sales, golf carts, mobile grooming, uh, specifically 31 reps, different types of restaurants, ice cream shops, cookie company, axe throwing, uh, axe dermatologists. Throwing. Yeah, axe throwing. Yeah. <laughs> dermatologists. It's it's the, you know, hey, business has changed. You got to go after the new ones. She had different types of doctors like an OBGYN, podiatrist, acupuncturist, cryotherapy, hotels. Uh, she does, you know, say right away they got sandwich shops, repair shops, funeral services, tattoo shops, uh, barber shops, for example. So there's a lot of people who in your community, maybe there's not, you know, they're a little on the more rare side or not most commonly thought of in BNI. But reality is, you know, there's plenty of people that need those products and services. So to pay attention to those types of things. And certainly depending on your community, you would ha might have different types of people who are more unique uh, that would certainly benefit from BNI. And one of the things, the reason why Shirley does the Unicorn Day is they're just so much easier to get into the different chapters. So by putting hyper-focus on certain categories, it makes it easier for the members in your chapters 
to look for those people, invite them in and uh, find a place for them. So it makes it really, really easy for them. So, yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. Some of that, those low hanging fruit. <clears throat> I know when I was in Miami for a while, we actually had a couple of restaurants that joined chapters and all the chapters would do happy hours there. They do one-to-ones there. They take their family there. It's a great way to promote their business. Well, what is some low hanging fruit you can think of, Dr. Meisner, as far as those categories that, you know, should be pretty simple to bring in. And I know we're of the belief that there is no better way to market your business on the planet than, than B&I. And so every business owner, every entrepreneur, is a likely candidate. So what do you think? What are some of those low hanging fruits? Well, look, every chapter, I mean, the list that, that uh, Lisa just gave is, uh, has some unusual professions, but uh, it's okay to look for those unusual professions because sometimes they're not invited. So, uh, you know, you want to certainly look for the usual suspects, the uh, accountants and the attorneys and real estate agents, chiropractors, those are uh, good. Um, but making a list is, is absolutely critical. And um, I think in a previous call, I talked about the fact that I thought I had run out of, this goes way back, 1985. I thought I had run out of names of people I can invite. And a BNI member really took me to school on this and said, hey, look, have you, have you gone through your database? Back then it was a Rolodex. That was my database. And for those of you who are young, it's not, it's not a, a an expensive watch. It's a little device that you <laughs> used to turn and, and it would have people's business cards or contact information in it. Have you gone through every card? I said, no. Have you gone through your check, like your register? I'm like, That's a good idea. wow, no, I haven't. Today it would be, may not be a, a physical check register, but it'd be an online check register. And um, have you gone through, who are you paying? Those are the people you should be inviting because if you're That's already idea, using yeah. them, you can bring them in and, and say, I've been using this person for a year. They're fantastic. Now they start at a, a, at a, a quicker pace because there's a relationship there. So low-hanging fruit for me is definitely people you're already doing business with. And, and don't try and talk them into joining. Don't give them tons of information. Just say, come to this networking meeting, bring a boatload of business cards, and you might get some referrals and meet some great people. That's what you want to do is just get them to a meeting and then – run a great meeting, okay? If, if, you, if you get a lot of people to your chapter and you run a meeting that sucks, that's the technical term. Um, I like it, that It term. doesn't do you any good. So you gotta run a great meeting, visitors will want to join that. So that's to me the longing in fruit. So uh, oh, oh, you can it's, I add Of uh, course. Episode number uh, 541, 541. It's a great, it's my favorite episode on how to invite people. Five for one. It's about we're interviewing. Sorry, Lisa. Oh no, no, no problem at all. But it's it's really kind of interesting. Like I, like over the years, I've seen uh, certain professions just go in and out and just change. And like certain professions, we had lots of. Now we don't. You know, just the way the industry's changed, maybe they're not as prevalent. But it's kind of interesting too. Like I think you know now we have like hairstylists commonly in BNI, but there's now this opportunity for dry, dry bars because while you might have someone. Uh, that does shampoo, cut and color, that kind of thing. A, a dry bar hairstylist doesn't do any of that. They literally just style your hair. So it gives you an opportunity where most people would think of that those categories actually compete. They don't. It gives you an opportunity to actually have two people in a category that you know sounds similar, but the industry, the, the, what they actually do is quite different. And you know, Ron, it made me think that I know that we've had chapters in, um, in, in Florida in particular, and I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but I know we had a chapter in Florida that had a lot of attorneys because they had their specializations. Are you familiar with that chapter, Ron? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Miami's chock full of attorneys. Yeah. Can you speak about yeah. like different types of, I think that's the one thing people forget too, is yeah. when you're looking for low-hanging fruit, you, you know, you might have categories that, you know, sound the same attorney, but there's yeah. actually specializations that make them yeah. you know, possible to join the chapter. 100%. You know, you've got your personal injury attorneys, you've got your immigration attorneys, bankruptcy attorneys, your business law attorneys, family law attorneys, estate planning attorneys. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And um, typically, you know, you have attorneys that specialize in all of that. Now, they may do one or two things, kind of like I can sell health and life insurance, but I stay in my lane. I stick to health. And so they typically stay in their lane, too. And they all typically work together. We've even had criminal defense attorneys and um, you could have six, seven, eight different attorneys in every single chapter, and they yeah, all specialize I've seen chapters in a different thing. Six, six attorneys and with eight attorneys, and they were yep. massive chapters, incredibly successful. 
Yeah, you know, passing a lot of business, doing a lot of mm -hmm. referrals. And some, it's funny what you just said, Ivan, about your Rolodex. Um, we're actually starting a, a new chapter in Waxhaw, North Carolina, which happens to be the hometown of our CEO, Graham Weimiller. And so I actually went to Graham and I said, Graham, I want to know any professional who's ever walked in or out of your house. I want their names and numbers. And he gave me a list of probably 20 list? people from plumbers, electricians, ink jack people, landscaping, pool, and all yeah. kinds of professionals. And I like what you said about, you know, looking at your, your checkbook register yeah. and seeing who are you paying? Who are you paying money to that we can then invite in, you know, to the greatest, you know, business growth strategy on the planet we call BNI. And so that's kind of good to jog your memory, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's great. And, and Lisa, dry bar, I had no idea what that was. I was just thinking it was a bar with no alcohol. So <laughs> you know, I, I didn't know what it was. There's so many different businesses now that I, you know, like hot yoga. I had a whole different vision of what hot yoga was. I had, <laughs> I had no idea. It was, you know, in a hundred and some odd temperatures. So these businesses with these funny names, they can yeah. be great. Even, you know? even men's salons in Miami, there's actually a men's salon. You'd love it, Ivan. Yeah. Um, I'm, that I'm sure specialized in men's hair and petty. shaves. A man, yeah, they do they do many petties too. <laughs> yeah. And they've got they've got a bar in there. You can have a drink where you're getting your hair done or you're getting your shave and they got a pool table. It's really cool. But these are the kind of very unique categories uh, in B and I that we can certainly introduce. You know, being I too. So you want yeah, to think outside the box. Don't be afraid of the unique categories. Um, mm -hmm. You you want to know one of the most unusual categories I've ever seen? Be invited and join a chapter. I'll give you two. One was a pet shipper. Oh, they shipper. shipped pets international, and wow. um, <laughs> that was their classification. And they were doing great in BNI. The other. It was another strange one and it involved animals. It was goat lawn cutting. Goat what? lawn cutting. Yeah, goat, it was in France and they'd bring in goats in in like hills where there were like little um, creeks and the the facilities couldn't mow the sides of the, of, of it wasn't real steep, but it was kind of steep. They couldn't do a mower. So they provided goats. This, this is a BNA chapter member who provided goats to clear grass in areas so don't be afraid of the unusual professions they can they can be a member well i tell you lisa you and i can talk about this and but i think we ought to give some special recognition to anybody in the u.s who brings in a goat grass cutter to their chapter that would be amazing <laughs> if you do it i want to know about it <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. that's amazing yeah, you know, when I think of low hanging fruit too, Ron, I, I think you know one of the things sometimes people forget. And I've had members who have been members for years, like in our region, one of the things that we did, we had special recognition if you had a family member join BNI. Because to me, the biggest compliment mm -hmm. that you could do is have someone else in your family join BNI. You know, it's a real testament to the power of BNI. Funniest story, and I just told this the other day to someone. Best thing that ever happened in a BNI meeting that I watched is a woman was in, you know, at her BNI meeting and just, you know, during open open networking, her husband walks in and she's like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "Oh, I got invited to this BNI chapter and I'm here to check it out." <laughs> and she's like, "I have been inviting you here so many times." He goes, "You did?" And he didn't even remember that she had invited him like, you know, a couple dozen times. And she's like, "I even asked you to sub and you didn't have time to sub for me." And at the end of the meeting, he was like, you should have told me about this sooner. So I, I can That's only, you know, funny. and then communication he is key. Yeah. But then he said, well, I think I'm going to apply. She goes, you need to apply to a different chapter. <laughs> <laughs> but he did. He ended up joining in our region and it was really funny. But we had a lot of people who would invite their adult children to join, uh, yeah. you know, their spouses, their parents to join. And I think people forget about that, that, you know, it, you know, the, the, that's a, a really, a, to me, it's a low hanging fruit one. For it, is, it, is, it really is. Yeah. And, and yeah. it is to me, it's a greatest compliment to the, the quality of referral to your, your yeah. chapters passing uh, when they to, certainly. To, to, that, to that point, Lisa, uh, I was visiting family in Boise, Idaho recently. Of course, Boise is a franchise. And I have several family members and I was telling them about BNI and they're looking for chapters. So I reached out to the franchise owner and said, listen, I've got some family members. They got businesses. They want to get into BNI. And so. I mean, you want to pass on the greatness of BNI to especially your family, right? Yeah, absolutely. It, it, yeah, cool. I guess I think when I think of low hanging fruit too, I also think of like your coworkers. I, I, 
you would think that that would be really obvious, but it's not. I, I find a lot of people don't even realize that their coworkers can, you know, join another chapter. Uh, and that certainly you qualify if, if you have a coworker or, um, that joins within the same region. It, uh, you know, you bring up a good point. Uh, that was one of the reasons me and I grew so fast in the first year was I told people, if you have somebody in your office that does what you do, but maybe they live in a different area, they'd be a great referral to me to help them open up a chapter or place them in a, another chapter. So yeah, your coworkers, they don't have to be obviously in your chapter, but there are chapters nearby or there are chapters maybe where they live. So yeah, co coworkers are definitely low hanging fruit. Yeah, yeah, I think you noticed, Lisa, and you too, too, Dr. Miser. <clears throat> when I was in Miami, I had 28 of my agents in BNI chapters all over the place. And today there's probably 200 all over the U.S. And so wow. you're right. If you have other sales reps in your yeah, company in. and they're, oh, yeah, put them in. I mean, there's no better way to grow a business than BNI. And so what a better way to do it than use the reps from your own company. Cool. Lots of low hanging fruit, right? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, uh, Donia just put on there. My sister-in-law started selling life insurance. She never heard of BNI. She visited our chapter and was blown away. Absolutely, I think that's the thing too. And you know what? I think one of the things that I, you know I learned from you, I think Dr. Meisner, is you know if you really care about people, you invite them to BNI. To me, to me that I love BNI because I, I leverage my time. I can I can make more money working less. And to me, like that's the big, biggest gift I can give to myself and to my family. And I think that you know, if you really care about people and you want to help them succeed, who, whomever they are, whatever they do, it's a great opportunity for you to invite them to be an I. Absolutely. Yep. Um, this year, um, we're looking to send a boatload. I like that term, right, Ivan? A yeah. boatload more people on this cruise. And Ivan loves cruises and he loves b &I members even more. And uh, this year, he definitely be on love the... b &I members more. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. He loves b &I members more than anyone on the planet. And so this year, it's going to be on the allure of the seas. And this is an Oasis class ship that Royal Caribbean has. And I've been on this ship. Maybe some of you have, too. And let me tell you, guys, this thing is a floating city. I mean, any, almost anything you could ever imagine is on this ship for you to enjoy from shows and live amazing eighth ice skating shows, diving shows, um, all kinds to do, amazing restaurants, um, pools. And it, it's they even got a zip line. They have a central park in here. You think you're in New York City. It's absolutely amazing. And uh, it's going to be a, a great time and lots to do. You'll never run out of anything to do on this ship. And I know in the past, Ivan, anytime you're on the ship with so many B&I members, you can pretty much run into a B&I member anytime you're on the ship, can't you? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Especially, you know, when you get when you get close to 100 members uh, and they're significant others on a, on a ship, you're, you're running across them constantly, which is which is great. I mean, you can there are places you can go and, and have privacy, but it's also a great way to meet people from all over the country and share experiences. Yeah. Really yeah. is. And and that, so, that's one of the things I love about B and I. I remember being in South Africa at a a winery doing a wine tasting, and I lived in LA and I met this uh, couple that was from Virginia. And we just started talking about business. And I mentioned that you know I'm founder of a networking organization and they said well now they're from virginia we're in south africa i'm from la they said well um we're in a networking organization i said oh, which one and they said this bni it's a great organization i'm like <laughs> founder and they're like are you kidding me so i mean you meet people from all over the country uh and it's great to have conversations and compare notes yep really is what is all right. david, hold on before you go david robinson said I made four new clients on a cruise. Yeah, you got a captive audience. If you can't make, turn something into business on a cruise ship, there's no hope for you. <laughs> Agreed. So, so seriously, what a, what a great opportunity to network with people. And the thing about BNI that I absolutely love, there's no pretenses. People know if you're asking for something, you know, what you what you want to get out of it. I mean, we're here mm -hmm. to help each other grow our businesses. So it's a great opportunity to network with other like-minded people who really genuinely care about your success. And that's what I love about BNI. 100%, 100%. Uh, this year, cruise is going to be in October, October 4 to 7. And um, Lower of the Seas, like we mentioned, runs April 1st. And so we're halfway, well, actually almost all the way through uh, April. We have one more month to go. I think, Lisa, I, we need to double check this. But I think we've got maybe 900, almost 1,000 members across the whole United States that have actually sponsored at least one. Yep. Those are some wow. rough numbers. And so we're definitely picking up some momentum. 
And uh, any members who sponsor new members of your chapter, right, you qualify. And this year, um, we made it easier than it's ever been since 1985. It's never, ever been this easy to qualify for member extravaganza than this year. Mm -hmm. We want to get a lot, a lot of people to qualify. So you only have to do three. Each chapter, you qualify for three. Um, and any wh whichever member sponsors those three, they get their name in the hat. And if you happen to have all three of your names, then you get three names in the hat. Uh, and if your chapter doesn't qualify, but you can actually qualify as a member and um, you sponsor three. That's the big three, difference, Ron. That's the really big difference. difference. We've never done that before. Yeah. So that was a big change this year. And yeah. um, we want to, it's a member extravaganza. So we want to get the opportunity to the members. And so if you're a member and you sponsor three yourself, you're going to get three names in a hat, sponsor six, six, nine, nine. And so obviously the more times your name is in the hat, um, the more likely you are to win. And we're going to send at least one winner from each region. And so there's a lot of regions in the U.S. and we're super excited about this. Hey, I wanted to bring up, we do have every, occasionally we do have people from that are outside of the U.S. on this call. So I do want to remind you, member extravaganza oh, is, is just for the United States. Uh, certainly other countries, they run different comp uh, contests and initiatives. And uh, so we want to make sure that you're aware that this is for the U.S. this year. Uh, so we appreciate having you on the call and hope you got some great tips out of this. But this contest is just for the U.S. Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you, Lisa. And it's going to be a cruise uh, in the Bahamas. Going to stop at Nassau um, and um, also stop at Royal Caribbean's private island called Coco Cay, which I've been to before. It's amazing. You'll have a great time. And so lots to do, lots of excursions. I think there's even stuff you can do in Coco Cay. You can like swim with pigs. True story. I've never done it, but um, they said it's fun. I don't know. But anyways, uh, lots to do and uh, lots lots of things to do. And and, and the best thing is you're going to spend a lot of time with a lot of like-minded people, other BNI members, uh, and Dr. Meisner to have his attention and his presence with you for three full days and four nights is absolutely amazing. What, what are you looking forward to most on this cruise, Ivan? You know, I love, I love, sometimes I remember one time I, I, I sat down in, in a bar that was kind of open as people were walking by and I was there by myself and I had a, a glass of wine and, then a couple of people came and then there was like two or three more people and then four more people and then six more people. And we had this great big circle of probably 12, 14, 15 people. And everyone was just asking me stories. I, I love to just pour into members and answer questions. And, and this was a very casual, it wasn't a formal presentation, but it was, it was casual and fun. I, I'm looking forward to moments like that where I can, really interact with the members. And I bet you have a boatload, pun intended, of stories. I have I have a lot of stories, yeah. I think I have forgotten more than, than some people know about you and I. I imagine that's probably true. So uh, what a better time and gonna be a great time. Uh, we do have a few minutes. Um, I've got 828 uh, here in Las Vegas, 828, so a little later on the East Coast. Um, we have any questions? Fisha, does anybody ask any questions we need to address? have it up if, if that's okay see, yeah i don't see any questions okay. I, I do ha i do have one i see uh jason einhorn asked what do you recommend for a visitor day agenda oh i missed that sorry lisa jason, what do you recommend for a visitor's day agenda for me it's it's a it, it's a regular meeting on steroids Mm -hmm. uh, very similar. And I would always go back to your uh, executive director or managing director. They certainly will have an agenda that they'll share with you. Uh, so you can easily get it from them. You want, yep. I, I think you want people to see what a BNI meeting is. Yep. Not what it isn't, but what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, there might be a couple of things that you trim back on and a couple of things that you add on to. But for the most part, it should be a normal BNI meeting. So people can see it and go, wow, wow, I need to be part of this. Yep. And that's the goal, right? When those visitors yeah. come in, you run that meeting, you want to yeah. wow the and, visitors. You want and, them to and, go, wow. And why? We want to make a bigger impact in the world. $23 billion in U.S. dollars in business last year. We want to do more. Um, b and is the only company I know that measures its success, not by its gross revenues, but by the revenues of the b &I members, um, by its clients. And that's a unique perspective to doing business and uh we want I, I want i want 110 countries with a lower gdp than a, than just 100 awesome. yeah and when you double your chapter what happens to referrals Ivan? you triple the number of referrals it doesn't Boom. happen 
overnight, but within six months, if you brought in good members, you will uh, triple the number of referrals. I've seen it over and over and over again. Anybody interested in tripling the number of referrals? Sign me up for that, right? Yeah. yeah. We, we had one yeah. more question. Yes. Yep. Uh, okay, Darcy asks, any recommendations for helping members uh, helping members hold each other accountable without uh, seeming pushy? Um, invite, accountable for inviting without seeming pushy. Well, for me, um, making everything public um, is a great way to do it without seeming too pushy, meaning here's the list of all of the members and how many visitors they've brought in, legitimate qualified visitors that they've brought in in the last week, in the last four weeks, in the last six weeks. And what I have found about that, first, you know, you get a little bit of pushback because usually the people who aren't bringing in anybody aren't happy. But what happens is nobody wants to be dead last. And so they'll they'll bring in a few people just so they're not last. And that, as, as crazy as that sounds, it's a technique that has worked for me for 40 years. So I would recommend that. All right. There was Love another that. question. There was another question about the uncommon categories. Lisa, do you know if Charlie has a list of those? Well, I just read off a bunch of them, but certainly your executive director or managing director can help you formulate that list. Because in your market, likely there's going to be different things than what Shirley has in, in Columbia, South Carolina. So I would encourage you to work with them to develop that list because they can they can easily pull that list together for you. Yeah, and you know, but start with the normal professions. I think the the unusual professions are great if you meet somebody that's in one of those unusual professions. What tends to happen is that we just say, no, you're not you're not going to be a good fit. So I wouldn't necessarily to me, that's going after unusual professions isn't necessarily low hanging fruit unless you met them and know them. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. I think and that's. The, uh... Uh... Oh, no, I was just going to say, if anyone wants the recordings, I dropped the link. It's on Dr. Meisner's YouTube channel, so you can access all the recordings there. Even I didn't know that. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Fantastic. Sure, that's, that's all right, Ron, doing. I think I'm going to see you in a few minutes. Yes, sir. All right, guys. That's all it right. for today. We'll see you next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. We will be on next week, 11 a.m. and 5 o'clock Eastern. Tell all your chapter members. Tell them all. Yes, invite your chapter members, by all means. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye, have everybody. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Good job, you guys.